Commonwealth immigrant came to Britain as a full citizen to a country which knew no discrimination between one citizen and another, and he entered instantly into the possession of the rights of every citizen from the vote to free treatment under the National Health Service. Well, that's not quite true though, is it, pal? Sorry. Enoch Powell. Think you forgot about the race rights of 1919? See, an immigrant is a person who comes to live permanently in a foreign country, and though my grandparents were British citizens and could remain in the UK indefinitely, somewhere in the early 2000s, they were then told they were now here illegally. Immigrants, not citizens, you know. Pension stopped, healthcare gone, told to leave the UK immediately which doesn't really make sense because the 1948 British Nationality Act basically states the status of British citizenship is granted to all Commonwealth subjects with the right to work and settle in the UK being entitled to all the benefits. But when they relaxed UK borders initially, yeah, it weren't for so many citizens that looked like me or had a different culture like some of you. See, the Windrush generation generally refers to those Commonwealths who settled in the UK before 1973 and any nationals who settled before 89 are also included in their compensation scheme. Because when they invited our grandparents here to work, the intention wasn't really for them to stay, but rather rebuild the motherland and then, yeah, get back on your merry way. But you know what? They underestimated that we came here to rise, to raise our families and thrive, and a lot of them despise that. So the policies kept getting updated and the oath on our grandparents uprooting faded. To Caribbeans, a land of milk and honey. To other nationals, the UK was a land of opportunity. But we all still got bent over decades later by that hostile environment policy. When they paid their taxes and national insurance for well over half a century, landing cars destroyed, visas rejected, and then letters just suddenly sent out to leave the country. I'm digressing. There's something way more pressing that needs your time and attention. I need your help as the third and fourth Windrush generation. Look, not enough of our communities are applying to the compensation scheme. And I know some of you are sitting there and thinking, right, but what's that got to do with me? Did you know that being born in the UK doesn't make you British automatically? And for that, you can thank the nationality legislation of 1983. So speak to your families about their elders, their journey here, your history. Have some of your family been deported or rejected from re-entry? Status problems, benefits stopped, no employment, so then no money. Go online, research the scheme, look through all the guides and help your family. Because we're the generation that's more internet savvy. And as a close family member, you can also make a claim if the ordeal has had an impact on your health and mental state. And there's no cap on how much compensation the Home Office will pay out. So if you're eligible, read all the guides and claim the maximum amount because the minimum starts at 10K going up to 100K plus. And yes, I know no amount of money will ever be enough for the unacceptable treatment that our grandparents and parents endured. The more of us applying shows the depths of this scandal will not be ignored and there are dedicated teams that give free advice on what to do. Many families deserve and are entitled to this and the claim can start from you.